Well, all right, everyone. Ellen, welcome back to Thank you all so much for tuning in uh, today and listening or watching where you are. I am the host of this podcast, and I also am the host of uh, Midgard Musings on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google, Bateto quote i should uh i should say that right off the bat that that is not uh his whole his whole thing, right um and i love this guy, but i love this guy he's uh he's from brooklyn new york of course and uh his, his whole intro is, hey what do, you, what do you say my facebook youtube twitter instagram google plus your sister's ass the pony express vic di Batetto here um but that's like that's his that's his whole intro to things. Um, but wherever you are and wherever you're listening from, hail and welcome to um, yet other fandom. Um, today it's just going to be a solo run uh, with me. So you've got me for the next however long. We will get started. So here we go. All right. Well, that it is, is. That is, is, that is, is, is the thing, I guess. Um, but it is uh, great to be back and it's great to have these podcasts coming out on a more regular cadence, a more regular basis. I hope you are all looking forward to what I have to offer um, with uh, regards to this, because um, one thing that I've been able to, you know, nail down is a workable schedule for me to put these things out. So every Thursday, um, at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific to try to get your day, you know, uh, started off right. You know, so for those of you starting your day really early on the West Coast, and for those of you that are maybe um, already at work or heading to work or waking up um, on the East Coast and everybody in between, you know, I myself, I'm in the central time zone. We've got listeners and followers and viewers and supporters over in the mountain time zone and, and all over the world, to be honest with you. Uh, which is really cool. I think the last time I checked, 86% of the podcast listeners are in the United States um, with, I think, around the remaining, you know, 14% um, spread out across uh, Canada and the UK. And I think it was Sweden or somewhere like that. So hopefully with the more regular cadence, we get more and more listeners and supporters out there but um yeah so every thursday 9 a.m eastern 6 a.m pacific you guys will have a fresh new random heathen ramblings podcast to listen to or to watch um please check the show notes first of all for the, all the ways that you can support this podcast because i do these things on my own free time and um time is valuable so if you want to help support what i do in this podcast in any sort of way if you're listening um support financially in any sort of way as, as little as a dollar donation does help um so any po you know podcast listening platform that you want to know most of you are probably listening to me on spotify but for all of my you know google podcast listeners apple podcasts uh breaker uh anchor you know everywhere just see how the, the platform that you're listening to uh, allows you to support um the podcast that way and then for those of you that are um watching the podcast on on youtube you're already doing an awesome uh service to me by um you know subscribing as a uh, member of the channel so in the show notes of this podcast as in every podcast and in the description of the video if uh, you are looking to get some more people to participate um in the video version of the podcast then 
uh, check out that link in the uh, in the show notes and down in the description. However, it is that you're you know viewing these things or watching these things, absorbing them as it were, you know, um, because that did, like I said, it it, it genuinely helps. Um, <clears throat> so all the podcast episodes that are going to be coming out going forward every Thursday, you know, they'll already have been uh, pre-recorded. You know, um, going to hopefully be getting some guests on here. I had a really cool um, email that came in from a gentleman who I will not reveal the name um, just because we haven't talked, you know, in, to any great length or to any great extent. Um, but uh, this, this gentleman um, was going to call in to the podcast, which if you want to call into the podcast, regardless of where you are, um, you can dial 615 615- um, can't even remember my own podcast phone number, 615-678-9832. Um, and that information is also in the show notes, but 615-678-9832. Um, okay. Call in, leave a voicemail. We'll, you got questions, you know, uh, comments, thoughts, suggestions, ideas, want to, you know, spark a little discussion around something but you don't want to necessarily be on the podcast you know you don't want to be featured as a guest but you still want to have your voice heard definitely give me a call um and leave a voicemail there um and we'll feature you on the podcast talk a little bit about what you uh you know what you have on your mind but so with that being said you know um this guy was going to call in and decided to write an email instead. Um, but he had some really cool things, and I'm hoping that we get him on one of the next episodes. So maybe by, you know, this time next week um, or in the week or twos, you know, weeks or two, week or twos, week or twos. Two is such a strong number because there's strength in numbers. Week or twos. Never heard of such a thing. Um, but hopefully we get this uh, we get this guy because he's got some really – um, he does really, he does a great thing, um, in his professional, you know, in the professional sector in his career, um, does a really great thing, I think, um, and has a really interesting approach to, um, you know, how we incorporate heathenry or, or, or some heathen values as it were into his, uh, profession. So we shall see for anybody else that's, you know, listening and thinks, Hey, I'd like to, you know, maybe offer my two cents or, or ramble on a bit with Jesse for an hour. You, um, like I said, either call in, throw me your ideas, um, or shoot me an email, midgardenmusings, TN at gmail.com. So, so here we are, um, another episode, another, um, week almost down for, for a lot of us. We've got the, uh, here in the United States, we've got the Labor Day weekend coming up i did a video around labor day i think it was two years ago it was either a year or two ago i don't know i'll try to uh i'll try to include that in the show notes because like i said by the time you guys that are listening and watching this we're gonna be gearing up for our labor day weekend so you know in the united states that's the that's the last weekend of summer, as it were, you know, um, even though the official last day of summer isn't for another couple of weeks, at least um, kind of the Labor Day weekend is, you know, when uh, we celebrate all the work that's been done and, and being done by by not working. <laughs> so myself and a lot of us uh, out here in the U.S. that are listening and watching, you know, are going to have a, an extended weekend, uh, some, you know, three day weekends. Um, myself, I'm going to have a four day weekend. Um Maybe a lot of you are working the weekend and you guys don't observe um, or, or your jobs don't observe uh, Labor Day. Um, regardless, if you're in, getting the chance to enjoy uh, the holiday weekend, then please do so safely. And for those of you who still have to do you know, your jobs and your work, you know, stay safe out there the same. Um, but uh, I'm definitely excited about this you know, summer being over with closely to being over with because... It's been, and I don't work outside. I'm, I'm fortunate in that aspect. I get, you know, a very physically relaxing job. 
you know, where I don't have to, I, I get to sit in air conditioning. I actually work from home. It's, it's, it's a very nice setup. And, but man, going outside for those of you that don't know, or that maybe are, are just, you know, listening for the first time, I live in the state of Tennessee and this state is, um, you know, like when you go out West or you hear people talk about from like a very, very hot climate, like, Oh man, this is like, you know, uh, it's like the devil's butthole or Satan's butthole. No, Tennessee and, and the South is Satan's taint, right? It's moist. It's grimy. It's swampy. It's like that, that just that, that, you know, greasy kind of just the humidity is what kills you. Right. So, um, even though I, I work indoors and, and stuff, I don't have to like physically exert myself outdoors. There's still things to be done. I mean, there's still yards to mow and, and, and whatnot, and, but any kind of activity that, that, that needs to be done outside, it's, it's oppressive to just stand. Like I would sometimes grill some food um, outside of my grill for, for lunch or dinner. And, um, doing it in these temperatures. And, and I mean, it doesn't even matter if the sun goes down or when the sun goes down, it doesn't, it doesn't get much cooler. It just gets darker. <laughs> um, yeah. So like just even standing out there, standing at the grill, you know, cooking some burgers, cooking some, you know, uh, chicken sausages, steaks, whatever, just standing there. You're like sweat just starts pouring out of you. Um, and it's I don't even I can't even tell if the moisture that's on my body is from the air around me or from what's you know secreting from my uh, epidermis. It's 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 just that bad. So, needless to say, this northern guy right here is super glad to be looking forward to the cooler months. And and one of the things that's happened here over the last few days, at least in this part of the country, is um, the after effects of uh, the hurricane Hurricane Ida. So by the time, of course, it gets to us here in Tennessee, most of the time it's a just, you know, it's 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 downgraded to either a tropical storm or or tropical depression. I think by the time it got to us here in Tennessee, it had lost most of its potency um, in our region of the state. And we were just down to a tropical depression, which still brought, you know, three days of, of almost nonstop rain. So there was a lot of, you know, flash floods and stuff like that. But it also brought in noticeably cooler temperatures now when i say noticeably cooler i'm not saying that it's you know comfortable to me by any means it, it's still pretty humid but it's it doesn't feel as bad when it's like you know 97 degrees with a heat index of 108 um it doesn't feel so bad when it's you know 84 degrees and a heat index of 90 right like that's still warm but the 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 15 to 20 degree difference almost is uh or 10 to 15 degree difference, because, you know, math, uh, you, you notice it. So it doesn't feel so oppressive. And I know that, you know, in the days to come and the weeks to come and stuff, it's, it's, it's just going to get better and better. And I'm looking forward to it so much. Um, I've got a, what is it? My wife's got a, uh, <clears throat> a, a vacation planned uh, with her and her parents. I'm not going to be going on this one. But she's got a vacation plan in a couple of weeks, um, just over two weeks, actually. No, 17, just over, yeah, just over two weeks from now um, to Myrtle Beach. So they're going to be going to the beach. It's still going to probably be you know warm enough for that. Um, but I've got like a camping thing uh, planned with some of my tribe in October. So that's going to be really super awesome and cool. But um, yeah, you know, over, uh, with some of my tribe members, not going to be very like it's going to be at um, one of our guys' uh, parents out in the woods, so going way the heck out in the middle of nowhere and doing all that fun stuff. But it's still out country, and still you know, that strong, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be just sleeping out there. You know, I've had anything. Oh, you're so excited about sleeping outside in the woods or sleeping in a tent. 
if remember right like where i've been living for so long then i haven't had that chance to to, to just go out and, and be out in nature to that extent um in, in quite some time so i'm looking forward to that um a lot and we were going to be doing it in september we're actually going to be doing it next weekend and uh, there was a reunion or something planned, and, and of course, that didn't. You know, it was there was a scheduling conflict, so it didn't work out. But we're going to um, have uh, the area that we're going to be coming is actually um, right on the the the, the family land property is located. So, like, it's been called different things over the years. It's been called like the Woodland Cathedral. It's been called. Um, circle it's a circle like it's literally stones built around and kind of like a grove um set up but it's where we hold our tribes um rituals and, and things like that so we get literally out there around that so it's going to be uh just a couple of weeks before the winter nights um historical date of winter nights we tend to observe so you know we're going to be right around that time of year it's going to be like i said mid-october temperatures i'm so i'm i'm looking forward to it because like that's my time of year when it's you know warm enough during the day to keep you comfortable and then cool enough at night where you just it's pleasant and i i, I can't wait so that's some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline um but like <laughs> one of the things that i saw that i was just gonna um talk about um, on the podcast today was this article that I came uh, that, that that came across my my eyesight while I was, you know, perusing through the. the I think it was on one of uh, one of the guy one of the one of the people who is um, part of the Urdipt organization.
So Okay. 
on. Pretty good. Like that to me, I was like, damn. When you think about the the ingenuity, um, the thought process that it could be you know, just you know a crock of baloney, but um story in depth in the um the show notes and down in the description. So check it out, read it yourselves. Um Sicilian city. Um, and like, what are the chances for him to understand and study the flight patterns of these birds and be like, yeah, they're going to fly back at this point of the day, at that point of the day. At that point, you're like, well, maybe they don't do it this time. Maybe because they're on fire, they like, you know, fly back and we set the woods on fire. This could have potentially happened, but it didn't. And uh that's that's how he um that is the great saga, part of the great side of Harold you want to Email Midgard Music. Or you can DM me on. I don't really check Instagram uh, because I have it linked to Facebook. So if you look at me on Twitter, you can direct message me on Facebook. Um, and uh, or on the, on the if you have something, you've got an article or whatever you want to like. Let's talk about it, whatever. I'm happy to, to check and I try to catch things here or there and, and keep like a log of cool things to talk about and just ramble on randomly about, as you know, um, the nature of the podcast. So, never know. Uh, anytime you do that, though, anytime you send something in, I will be sure to remain anonymous. Um, and if you do want to remain anonymous, just, you know, you know, hey, just, you know, don't drop any names. Just, otherwise, I'll be like, hey, you know, so-and-so sent this in and I think this is pretty wild or weird or curious or whatever. So, but that is, uh, yeah, that, that was the story of Harold of Rufus.
trying to think of like what other things you know what it kind of reminded me of a little bit um it's 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 a it's a biblical saga if you want to call it such it's a biblical story of the story of samson um and the time he ties his boxes together and lights them on fire or ties fire brands in between their tails and sets them um loose in the fields the cornfield or whatever um it was the philistines and uh you know, he ties them tail to tail and and puts a fire brand in between them and it and he destroys destroys their because of the um of that action he took it was like that's pretty epic you know um it kind of reminded me a little bit of that where you know was i can conquer a city uh per se the the samson deal like it wasn't it wasn't a conquest it wasn't a, an attempt to besiege after a settlement uh but it was still epic nonetheless and it was saga worthy but um yeah i think that'll that'll pretty much that day going to be relatively um shorter podcast um probably like i said as we um get more uh with with the cadence of things don't forget it's going to be every third and 9 a.m eastern 6 a.m pacific um you can watch them at time or listen to the podcast at time yeah. so whatever podcast uh streaming platform that you prefer it'll be out there and you just listen to them at your convenience but hopefully it'll hit at a time and you're you know whatever part of your daily routine it is whatever it is you're either waking up going down the road grabbing a cup of coffee making a bagel frying some eggs coming home from work you know because we got some of those night shifters out there um but so yeah, today is going to be the the first of hopefully many more of these regular occurrence um, podcast episodes. So I want to say uh, first of all, thank you to all of my listeners. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated through your um, listening and streaming. If you do want to support in any other way monetarily, just check the the platform that you're uh, streaming or listening on. There's always going to be a way that you can monetarily support. Um, yeah. And in that link tree link, there's going to be other ways. Um, I've got merchandise. What's going on? Instead of just listening, or you want to get both a visual and audio. Uh, experience on the podcast. Uh, me coming up with more ideas to, you know, give give back to to everybody. So nothing too terribly or or tremendously educational today. I hope you guys like the the, the little bit about Harold, <laughs> old crazy Harold over there. Harold is just the kind of name where, like, I don't expect anybody with the name Harold to be remotely. He's a few, uh, he's a few crayons short of a box um, kind of name. No disrespect to anybody out here whose name is Harold. Um, but if you are, um, then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, love all of you is for, for your support. And, and regardless of your name, so that's. Uh, that's uh it's just a name all right so that uh that wraps up today's podcast. don't forget to share these around upvote them in any way that you can whatever the platform is that you're listening on there's always going to be that option for you to either like it favorite it um share them around because again the more people that listen to these things the more people that want to get involved um the greater i think that we can do for each other because you can uh, be listening to something that I say, and that might inspire you to do something yourself or offer an idea or, or thought process or you know, some, a mind, you know, spark a mind fire, um, the mind fire. I like that term. I like the term mind fire. Uh, Eric Sherman over at Raven's School used that a lot. You know, it's not like, hey, this isn't anything that you need to, you know, take for, for more than just something to think about, you know? Spark my keep get those 
get those gears turning, get that, you know, you know, sack of nerves and, and, and whatnot up in that skull of yours thinking about some things. So anything like that, you know, guys and gals out here, just feel free to, to, uh, to write in or call in or whatever. And so thank you listeners, thank you, especially to all the YouTube members uh, who are watching um, and supporting uh, the podcast in this way and supporting the channel in this way. You're all, all of your support is greatly appreciated. So tune in next week, same heathen time, same heathen channel. And this has been Random Heathen Ramblings on uh, America News. So until we talk again, hail, stay safe, and enjoy. Thank you all so much. Take care.